Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book. Zero to One, new version, a creation by Peter Thiel with Blake Masters. Zero to One, 2014, provides guidance for founders of startups on how to build a monopoly. The book outlines key strategies, including developing proprietary technology, building a robust brand, creating scalable products, and leveraging network effects. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Peter Thiel, who co-founded PayPal, is a renowned venture capitalist worldwide. He holds the distinction of being the first non-investor to support Facebook and has amassed a fortune exceeding $7 billion. Blake Masters, a venture capitalist, served as the president of the Thiel Foundation until 2022. With 10 key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book. On StoryPlane.net. To start, learn from a renowned venture capitalist and gain valuable insights. The key points of the text are, one of the secrets to startup success is achieving a monopoly. Monopolies can be good for innovation because they require creating something new and uncopyable. Peter Thiel, a renowned venture capitalist, emphasizes going from zero to one as the core of his philosophy. The text introduces the book Zero to One by Thiel, based on his notes for a course taught at Stanford University. The book covers three things to stop doing and five things to do to become a successful monopolist. The text teases the idea of starting at the future as an important place for founders to spend time. Key idea number one. The text encourages individuals to move away from imitation and instead think creatively and beyond traditional conventions. In thinking about the future, we tend to envision progress and new technology. This progress can be horizontal, expanding on existing ideas, or vertical, creating something completely new. Horizontal progress is driven by globalization, spreading existing ideas. Vertical progress involves going from nothing to something. The concept of going from zero to one emphasizes the importance of vertical progress. Key idea number two, success is not dependent on luck, but on focus and determination. Vertical progress is more challenging because it requires predicting and creating something that doesn't exist yet. To achieve vertical progress, it's necessary to think critically about the present and have the ability to see and change the future. Focusing on one future goal is more effective than trying to prepare for all possible outcomes. For startups, it's crucial to make conscious decisions, find a niche, create a visionary product, and wait for the right conditions before taking action. Key idea number three. The suggestion is to cease making easily replicated products and instead establish a monopoly. Monopolies, despite being often viewed negatively, actually drive innovation. Monopolies indicate that a company is excelling in its field and has created a unique product. Google's monopoly over the search engine industry for example, has resulted in significant benefits for users. Monopolies also prevent industries from becoming overly competitive and unprofitable. Monopolists have technological advantages, benefit from network effects, enjoy economies of scale, and possess strong brands. These factors contribute to their success and make it difficult for competitors to replace them. Criteria for assessing a business's potential to become a monopoly include technological advantage, network effects, economies of scale, and strong brands. Key idea number four, the text does not provide any information to summarize. The text states that after discussing theory, the next five chapters will provide advice on how to turn a startup into a successful monopoly. It emphasizes the importance of having a vision, a secret, persistence, a strong culture, and an outstanding sales strategy. Key idea number five, having a vision is important. Successful startup founders often possess a special ingredient, a unique personality and original ideas. They provide a vision that cannot be replicated by following a standard business guide. For example, 
the founding team of PayPal, despite their quirkiness, had the originality needed for success. Apple's journey also highlights the importance of a founder's vision, as the company struggled when Steve Jobs was initially removed, but flourished when he returned and brought new ideas like the iPod. This story illustrates that even strong companies require the originality and vision of their founder to reach their highest potential. Key idea number six. Key points. Having a secret is important. The text does not provide any specific information about what the secret should be or why it is necessary. In a world filled with advanced technology, it may seem like there are no new ideas or secrets left to discover. However, there are still important secrets that are not widely known or appreciated. Tech companies can gain a competitive advantage by having better technology than their competitors. For example, Hewlett Packard had great technology in the 1990s, but a conflict within the company's board led to a shift away from pursuing new technologies. As a result, the company lost market value. It is important for companies to find and pursue these secrets in order to maintain a strong position in the market. Key idea number seven, persistence is a necessary quality for success. PayPal was founded in 1998, but initially didn't make profits. Its value was determined by future expected profits. Startups may not be profitable immediately, but can still have value. It's important to start small and expand gradually, focusing on dominating a niche market before entering broader markets. Amazon's success was not overnight. It started with selling books before expanding to other categories. Key idea number eight, having a strong culture is essential. When building a business, creating a strong culture where people support and believe in each other is crucial. Personal connections and relationships among team members are important for success. Weak personal ties can lead to problems and conflicts within a team. Founders and board of directors may have different interests, so it's important to establish a way to resolve conflicts early on. Company culture is not just about perks, but about building strong relationships. Key idea number nine, a strong sales strategy is essential for success in business. The key points of the text are, many founders are more focused on product innovation and less interested in sales. Good distribution and organization are necessary for effective product sales. The potential of each client should be considered when deciding how much effort to invest in making a sale. Different sales strategies may be needed depending on the product and target audience. Start small and test different approaches with a pool of reference customers before investing a larger budget. Key idea number 10. Read the checklist before beginning. Between 2005 and 2009, there was an investment bubble in the clean tech industry in Silicon Valley, with over $50 billion invested. However, many of these companies failed because they didn't analyze the market opportunity well enough. They didn't understand the need for technology 10 times better than established energy companies, and they didn't realize the dog-eat-dog -dog competition in the trillion-dollar energy market. Many of these companies were run by non-technical executives and lacked proper distribution channels. Additionally, they were surprised when Chinese companies produced similar products at lower costs. To succeed, startups should ask themselves seven questions. Can they create a true technological breakthrough? Is it the right time to start the business? Will they start with a large share of a small market? Can their team pursue the opportunity? How will they deliver their product to customers? Can they defend their market position in the long term? Do they see a unique opportunity others have missed? In conclusion, to become a successful entrepreneur, aim to build a business with a monopoly. Create a unique vision and avoid imitating others. Start with a small niche where you can excel. Challenge the status quo and be bold to achieve success. Copycats won't find it. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on StoryPlanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on StoryPlanet.net.